Welcome back guys to yet another episode of the manga reviews from the Dream Seekers. Today's host is as usual Amichita and I'm here to present you yet another manga from my big and grand manga collection. You might be wondering why I'm wearing those winterly clothes in the middle of the summer, but hear me out. The next manga I want to introduce to you has to do with a uh, sort of winter in Hokkaido and the next manga is Erased or in Japanese Boku Dake ga Inaimachi and it's, it literally translates to the town where only I am missing and it's from the mangaka Kei Sanbe. Kei? Kai? Kei? Kei? Sanbe? It was published in a seinen magazine Young Ace from June 2012 to March 2016. The manga series goes up to 8 volumes in total, even so there is a ninth volume which describes the life of another character in the series, but we get to that later. The genre of this manga is mystery thriller, so I don't only uh, have Jojo mangas in my manga collection, therefore this manga is entitled 50 plus so please consider this uh, not chat family video again ask your parents first if you want to read this manga because there is serious stuff happening in this manga and I don't think there's something happening in this video but in the manga we want to support so please ask your parents first if you want to read this and please support the manga because it's great <laughs> So yet again, on the cover of the first volume, you can see a small little girl standing in a large field of snow. It may not stand out in the first volume, but when you continue reading, you will notice that it's all about that girl. When you turn the manga around, you can see another small child. He's the main character as an elementary schooler. He's surrounded by lots of footprints, you can see the legs of the other kids in the corner and if you might have noticed, he is facing left. Not to read the text obviously, but to watch the lonely girl on the cover and that's basically the background information for the story. But let's review first. The story starts its introduction with Satoru Fuchinuma. He's a 29 year old guy living in the Japanese city Chiba and his dream is to be a mangaka but every time he presents his ideas he gets turned down although he's good but he's not good enough and in the meantime Satoru is working at a pizza delivery service as a part-timer he's good at his job he's so good that his boss wants him to be a full-timer uh, but Satoru doesn't want to quit his dream of being a mangaka one day. While driving away some pizza one day, he experienced a rerun. A rerun is his not controllable ability, which sends him back in time before something very bad happens. Thus, this time skip gives him the chance to prevent said incident. And he's kind of restricted to saving the day because when he ignores the rerun and wants to ignore the situation he's in uh, the rerun always repeats itself again and again until he finally saves the day after finding out the purpose of this specific rerun he gets sent straight into hospital his co-worker Ari Katagiri witnessed the whole incident and just like that spend some time with him in the hospital. After being released, Satoru was sent back home again. There, out of the blue, his mother, Sachiko Fujinuma, was waiting for him, telling him that she will be spending some time with him and living at his place from now on. Some days have passed, and after Satoru and his mother went shopping, another rerun happened. But this time, Satoru couldn't figure out what the purpose of the rerun was, so he asked his mother for help. She looked around and finally noticed a strange man with a small kid walking away from the parking spot. Sachiko got distracted and after looking into that direction again, the kid was left alone and the strange man was rapidly driving away. She wrote down the license plate, being sure not to forget it. 
And just as that, the rerun was over. Something has been changed. Satoru's mother spent the rest of the day searching for clues. She knew that man. And he knew her. That guy wanted to kidnap that girl. And yet, he let loose. Because Sachiko saw him? And not only because of that. Because... He recognized her and suspected her recognizing him as well. This kidnapping attempt is just like the ones from 18 years ago, when Satoru was still a small child in elementary school. There were a lot of incidents like these back then. Even Satoru was in danger. But the culprit has been found guilty and is going to be executed in a few days from now. What if... The real culprit hasn't been found yet. What if he's still on the loose and I just saw him? And he knows me and I know him. That's what Sachiko wondered all day long. So she kept on investigating and finally had an answer. But when Sachiko was about to tell her son, something happened. Suddenly, Satoru is chased by the police, and the moment he is captured, another rerun happened, which sends him straight back in time. But this time, he can't come back that easily until he solves that strange mystery. That is actually a very long plot of the story, sorry about that. But let's head straight into what I like, what I don't like, and the details of this manga. The storyline is gorgeous. You get to know the situation very quick, but the progress in solving the mystery is kind of slow, so you can make assumptions yourself. It's never boring though. There is always some kind of cliffhanger and therefore it's very thrilling and exciting to read through the story. I'm a total fan of the confrontation scenes, so whenever Satoru has a breakthrough in the investigation or something like that, it's getting so pumped up. The way they talk to each other then is so mind-breaking. It's getting me so Detective Conan vibes here <laughs> every time. I don't really like the art style of this manga. It's getting me confused sometimes because the background seems to mingle with the characters, not the text though. The text, you can read the text very fine, so if you don't know what's going on because you cannot really see what's happening in the picture, you just have to read the text again, you just have to read the passage again, and you will get it eventually. The character design is chosen quite well. I still get confused though in who is who, but spoiler warning, skip to... 30, 40 seconds, but you can really see who is who if you just take a look at the older pendants, then everything is obvious. And now the question of the day, what is the rating of this manga? All in all, with all I have to say, I will give this manga a 4 out of 5 stars. This is a wonderful, thrilling manga with a strange but yet great mystery to solve. Its sci-fi elements makes it special and therefore it's exactly my taste. So for the story itself it would get the full amount of stars. But because of the background mix and mingle and my blonde confusion and the art style not being really my favorite one, I will remove just one star from the full amount because the story is great, it's awesome and the manga wouldn't have deserved any less stars. At the beginning of this video I talked about this manga having 8 volumes in total, but there is actually a ninth volume, which makes this whole series complete. In that volume you get to discover Ari Katagiri's life in the last section of the manga, uh, which makes it a very great summary to end the whole series there. Yet again, I don't want to spoil anything, so sorry for no details here. Just to let you guys know, there is an anime adaption of this manga series. 
I already saw it, but if you want me to make a review out of this as well, then just let me know in the comments down below. And there is even a light novel, a live action drama and a live action film. So please just write down in the comments down below what I should watch or read next from this erased series. Yet again, this is the end of today's manga review. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button down below, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will be reminded if another manga review or hopefully in the near future another dance cover is out. I'm Amichita and arigatou gozaimasu for watching again and don't forget to keep your dreams alive. Dream seekers, oh, we will keep them in our hearts. Doki doki.